Today we shall reflect on the lives of saints Francisco and Jacinta Marto. It was the 13th of May in the year 1917. Away from the fertile regions of Fatima, a village some 110 miles north of the city of Lisbon, stood the little known Cova da Iria, where they took place an event that was to change forever the lives of three youngsters from Aljusrel who were shepherding their flock having first satiated their hunger they had just about concluded the recitation of the holy rosary when all of a sudden that bright sunny morning a powerful flash of lightning tore through the sky bathing them in an astonishingly dazzling glow and revealing to them a resplendent figure a young maiden the virgin mother of god 10 year old lucia de jesus and her two cousins francisco and jacinta marto were the three seers of that beatific vision and were to be recipients of the same for the next 5 months something that they maintained uninterruptedly except for the 13th of august when they were taken away for cross questioning by the mayor of villa nova de orem under whose jurisdiction fatima fell an unexpected apparition however followed on the 19th of august while they gazed their flock in the dos valinos the trio was asked by mary to learn to read and write they were also asked to pray the rosary for peace in the world and the end of the first world war that was raging then as well as to pray for the pope for sinners and for the conversion of russia it was mary herself who had assured them of heaven with the warning that they would each have to suffer much she asked that the rosary be recited daily and that the world be consecrated to her immaculate heart and as promised by her they indeed did experience the strengthening power of god's grace in their lives until the end doubt and suspicion beatings and imprisonment were their lot until eventually no less than 90000 people witnessed the miracle of the sun and all else that accompanied the last apparition of mary at fatima a remarkable change came over the children they became kinder in their attitude towards all they came in contact with and were easily moved by the sufferings of others their visits to the eucharistic lord increased in frequency and fervor paving the way for their much awaited union with him Francisco was called to his reward in April 1919. Jacinta passed away to hers on February 1920, and Lucia de Jesus, who in time became a Carmelite sister, died on the 13th of February 2005 in Coimbra. The mortal remains of Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia rest in specially prepared tombs. in the side chapel of the basilica of the holy rosary at the cova da iria francisco and jacinta were beatified on the occasion of the 83rd anniversary of our lady's apparition by pope john paul ii and canonized by pope francis on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the apparition in the year 2017 while lucia was declared servant of god by Pope Francis on the 13th of February 2017